Hey everyone, Christian here, and you may find it odd that I'm doing a vlog on uh, butea, but I want to talk a little bit about uh, different species of butea and what exactly is this butea. So obviously it is a butea, um, and you know, it has this, this uh, strongly recurved leaflets, strongly arched leaflets, as you can see there. And you can, you know, it's, it's different, you can differentiate from Cyagris, it doesn't, you know, it has armament going up most of the petiole and uh, doesn't you know it has that that uh, very unclear trunk to it so these are very common all the way up into Georgia you know the whole Gulf Coast you know in the California I mean all the way to Texas basically you know they can handle a lot of cold but the question I'm the, 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 I guess the question I'm trying to discuss here is what species is this now a lot of people would say it's oh it's Butea capitata and it was the belief that that's what this was uh, for probably half a century. But recently, a lot of DNA studies on these uh, palms that grow here in mostly central Florida and north um, shows that they're probably a multiple species of Inbutea. Because these come in all colors of the rainbow, well, for palms. You know, you can get them in green, you can get them in blue, very blue color, you can get a very silvery blue. This one's more of the silvery, silvery blue type and it has uh, very stiffly recurving leaflets some of them don't recurve much at all and are much longer so um and that you know the amount of fiber you'll see on in the crown will be quite a, uh, quite different so there's so much variety in this palm it was believed that there's actually multiple species that were planted out here so there the idea the theory is that some of these are butea capitata but butea capitata is actually rare in habitat in, in Brazil and other uh, countries that it's native to. And these are likely going to be uh, Butea uh, catariensis from the Catarina state of Brazil, Butea yate. Um, there's a couple other Buteas that I can't actually think about at the moment, but understand that people often call, call this palm Butea capitata because that is what it's always been called. But as often is the case, biology, or I should say, in, uh, yeah, botanists will um, change their opinions through DNA evidence and other observations. Some of these will actually flower at this age. There's, a, there's one down uh, the street a little bit that's actually putting out a flower spathe. Some won't flower until they have about five feet of clear wood. So it's hard to say. Some, a, a lot of times the taller ones, I believe, are going to be something like Butea catariensis. Uh, I forget which one flowers at which stage, but the really the only way to know for sure which species you have is going to be um, getting a, a, a test done by you know, taking a sample of the leaflet and sending it out to like a IFAS, which is a, a basically an outreach uh, program of the University of Florida, and getting a species check. Now they can be, they can hybridize as well, so you might have a hybrid, but you'll notice because it'll probably be growing faster. So, you know, this one here is identical in its, in its genetics, I guess you could say. It has that silvery blue. It has more recurved leaflets. They're not quite as recurved as this one over here, but um, it has the same trunk stature and has the armament. And, you know, it kind of goes up and kind of ends right before the rachis starts. I mean, there's still some armament, but not quite as... It kind of goes from this fibrous uh, material to armament to almost nothing at all. It's kind of interesting how that works. On There's a number of palms that have that where... You can, it'll it won't be armed all the way to the base of the petiole but midway through it kind of starts so uh you know this is a very popular palm throughout most of the southeast u.s uh many parts of europe south america and even in asia in some drier climates so to figure out what species this is is quite difficult um whereas it's close cousin Cyagris, not close cousin but it's cousin Cyagris roman zafiana the queen palm has many varieties to it, but they are all Roman Zafiana. These are often all planted as one species, but are often going to be two, three, or even four different species. So um, when you go and look for, you know, the common name is Pindo, but if you want to go look for Pindos, realize that you may not be getting the same species every time you purchase a plant. You might want to stick with one variety, unless you want to collect varieties, um, if you want to have similar structure. Like if you buy one palm from a big box store then another from a nursery they might come out as, as two entirely differently looking palms so um so keep that in mind 
Uh, you know, I figured I would touch on this because people ask me questions about Pindos quite a bit. Uh, it is, like I said, it is a very common palm, a very popular plant because it is very cold hardy. And as a result, uh, there is there are a lot of questions that go around. But realize that they're not all the same species. They are going to be, uh, they're going to be different within this. There's going to be different varieties within the same species. There's going to be different species. And in the end, the only way to really tell, again, is to visit, uh, you know, uh, a botany lab to really get results to know what you're, you're looking at, what you have in your garden. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel but enjoy watching uh, videos on palms and other tropicals, consider subscribing. And if you have any questions about Butea, I will try my best to answer through my, the knowledge I have about these, uh, these uh, species within the genus. And uh, thank you for watching.